box of vintage Soviet transistor radios from Odessa, Ukraine. Today is April 4th, 2022, and if you're familiar with this channel, if you follow this channel, you know that I collect and restore, fix. I enjoy working on Soviet era electronics and specifically transistor radios because most of them are long wave and medium wave so they work on the AM broadcast band in the US and they are excellent performers. I haven't run across one yet that was a subpar kind of crappy performer. For a few years now my main source for purchasing these radios has been an eBay seller in Odessa, Ukraine. So we're going to open these up. I'm going to include a link to this seller in the video description because they said that business has dropped off to nothing and the reason why of course is because people are unsure if they order something that they will receive it. And the seller does a very good job of listing the radios and of course the majority of them need repair, restoration, whatever, capacitors, whatever, they have a multitude of problems. But they do a very good job of video documenting the radios and other stuff. So at your own risk of maybe seeing something you like and buying it and then having things go sour in the Odessa area of Ukraine, maybe take a look at the link in the video description and see if there's anything in the store um, that you like and again at your own risk maybe pick up one of these radios. I've, this seller has been very reliable. Uh, never had anything damaged. Everything has been exactly as listed but of course there is a lot of uncertainty right now so I'm trying to stress that. So enough talking let me open this. 5.39 kilograms of radios. So, anyway, some of these work and some of them don't. And in, in the past, I've tried to focus on buying ones that did not work because I enjoy repairing them. And um, this time it was just more to show some support to someone who had been done done good by me in the past. Yeah, I remember this. I believe this one works. Boy, the leather is in nice shape. So anyway, it's the first one. Sokol 404. These are good. The Sokol stuff is good. All the way back to full germanium. And I have another box opening recorded already from probably six months ago that I haven't released yet because it includes a little Ukrainian TV and I just haven't had the time to set it up. Ooh, this is a little bit of 80's tacky plasticky cheese. But we like 80's tacky plasticky cheese. It has all the manual and the schematic and everything with it. This looks like it was for the export market. Selga. These are these are good radios. This is not uh, this might the output might be germanium in this, but not the the front end. Okay. These are some 
uh, additional parts sets which uh, I wanted because wow this one had all socketed transistors in it but occasionally these transformers go bad these go bad these radios unlike American radios these radios were used to death they they really, really use these radios. More parts. That doesn't look like a radio. That looks like... I don't know what that... I don't know what that is. Part of a car radio, maybe? I don't know. Good parts to have. Very good. No IF strip in this one. This must be one of those TRF radios. I think this one right here is the one I really wanted. Oh yes. Hey, when you wake in the morning and co find you're covered in cellophane, well, there is a hole in there somewhere. This is the one right here. This is the big boy. I guess this is a Russian military radio. Of course, they use a different FM band. I don't know if this has the FM band. They use that 66 to 86 or whatever it is, that weird FM band. But I thought I had purchased a radio that was modified. Stand by. This is interesting. This is 10 and a half volts. Three, six, nine, ten and a half. One of these I bought said that it had been modified to work on our FM band, and it might be this one. See, this is meters, right? Here's a Scoigal Spoimel Bimel Miber. I need power for this. Okay, it looks like these two are tied together, so we're going to go with positive and negative. We point 0.8 ohms here. At least I hope that's how it's wired. Okay, I'm running it on three of these, which is 3.3 .3 times 3, so 10 volts. So that's close. So let's see, how do we turn on and make working? Oh, that sounded good. Oh, you leave yourself open for the jokes. I mean, come on now. What, what am I supposed to do? That's not what I meant. I, I don't know what you meant. It's I don't know what's really, going on in that brain of yours. I mean, it's really... In the description... So, time to know that your payments come with a much higher interest rate. What if you can have the low interest rate... Eltonjohn.com 
Unfortunately, when it comes to uh, Whoopi, there's not a lot of... Um, um, the part where it says suffered under... I see this is meters okay so 4.1 meters to 4.5 meters would probably be their FM band I thought this was modified to work in our FM band I'm sure it can be so let's see shortwave. Definitely shortwave. At this time, BWCR begins operations on 5.890 megahertz. Our mailing address is WWCR 1300 WWCR Avenue, Nashville, Tennessee 37218. USA. Our mailing address is WWC. This is a hot shortwave radio. There's a lot of stretch in the cord. Let me do this. Probably needs to be recapped, but it's a nice radio. See, it needs a fine tuning for the shortwave, too. long wave used to be able to pick up some beacons on uh, airport beacons on long wave but not anymore is super sensitive on law on AM band. Needs an alignment though. It needs see it needs the whole thing moved down that way. 
from our vantage point. Oh, it's not it can't even handle KNX, it just blows out. And Duffy off of You think this is? That's every single person. First half, the NCAA championship game, North Carolina leads by 10. Jennifer Kuyper, CBS That's KNX. This is KNX News 97.1 FM, Southern California's only 24-hour local news and traffic station. Good evening, I'm Brian Ping. Our top local stories at 7.05 looks like a strike is off the table. A tentative agreement is reached between the grocery stores and the union Let's see, can we open this? Can we look at the guts? Please. Anyway, I'm going to have to take this apart in another video. Um, I'm sure I can modify the FM band. I'm sure there's instructions online. It'd be interesting to try and do it. I don't know how much sensitivity you lose doing that. I'm sure you lose some because all the coils and capacitors are all dialed in for the lower frequency. But um, it might be... Oh, maybe this is... No, that's the... Dirge Fervo Large Alarm Marbler. I'll be very curious to try this and compare it to the Sony TFM 1000 out in the desert because the TFM 1000 is by far the hottest radio I've ever seen. I mean, nothing even comes close to that thing, but this might. This, this really showed some strong performance on uh, shortwave that I haven't seen before. So anyway, I thought it would be an interesting video with the current times to, to place this order from the Ukraine and see if it actually arrived in what kind of shape and how and all that. And here it is. So uh, there you go. I hope you got something 